folks, Charlie Sims here. Hope you're having a lovely day and thank you for joining me for a speed build. And today we're going to be making a small restaurant. So how I went about this restaurant was I'm actually playing my current legacy family, I guess. And I made their house actually last week. So I'll show the card for that right now. But I made their house and they had a budget house. And then the idea was that they would eventually buy a restaurant. So the wife is a chef and the husband is a freelance computer programmer. And actually the freelance computer programmer career earns a load. But anyway, I thought to myself, this is going to take me absolutely ages to buy a restaurant outright. So what we do is we make their like house fake, basically. I get like another debug house. So they're... Their house is basically two debug houses, kind of like in a row. It's all set dressing and they actually live at the restaurant. So I'm making like a small restaurant. What I really wanted was a small restaurant. Of course, we have a really big area to fill. So I do end up working out how to fill that layer. And I think it looks really cool. You probably would have seen in the thumbnails that we do add a basketball course. And this takes me a few times to build, kind of like a couple of iterations to finish. So we currently have like eight grand left. I end up having to pull out the really cheap tables from Eco Lifestyle that are in the hidden objects menu. Uh, the really run down ones because I spend the eight grand on the exterior of the restaurant and I haven't got rid of the house. So we've got like, I, I'm not even sure how much I started with, maybe like 30 grand. And we don't have enough money at, at the moment. But when I sell the house, I bulldoze the house and then add some set dressing. We have like a bit more money. And then I earn a, a bit more money in freelance gigs. And then we play the restaurant as well. And I earn a little bit of money on the restaurant, but not really. Uh, and then we go back to the restaurant, make their house on the side of the restaurant and fill the restaurant up with tables and chairs. Actually do end up extending the kitchen as well. And we end up making this like a little bit smaller. I did want it to be like a small restaurant, like even, I even wanted it to look like a little bit of a calf, like a little bit of a kiosk. I don't know, like when you come out of the station, there's kind of like somewhere where you can get coffee. I mean, this is a restaurant, but I wanted it to kind of look like that. I felt like it would be a little bit weird to have a huge restaurant here in front of the train station. It is like quite a weird lot. I think it's one of my favourite lots. I think it's so pretty. Like maybe in the whole game, I just think it's really pretty, like the surrounding area. I love Conifer kind of Station. Fell in love with it during the demo for Eco Lifestyle. So that's why it's here, but... It is, it, it's weird. I think the basketball court really works in this area though. So to summarise, we have a small restaurant, a tiny house off to the side of the restaurant and a basketball court. And that is everything that is on the lot. And this ends up costing 80,000 simoleons. And I'm actually astounded that I earned 80,000 simoleons. Well, I guess I didn't earn 80,000 simoleons because I started off with 22, but I earned 58 simoleons. Earning 58 simoleons is not bad going. I think we mostly earned that through the freelancer programmer career. That career is so good because once you get to level nine programming, they pay you like 9k uh, for one freelance gig, which uh, is not bad, not bad at all. But the exterior is coming together nicely, or at least at the front. I'll show you a picture. So I've got this picture that I have to work with that I got from Pinterest, I believe. And I spoke about this uh, earlier in the week. When I have a Pinterest image, it's like great for the front of the building. And then I'm just not sure what else to do with the sides of the building because we don't have a pitch for it and also because this is like an alley it, I, I only just noticed but it's called the alley restaurant so I think this is like an alleyway restaurant so it doesn't actually have two sides and um all I can see is the front However, I think the sides end up looking really nice, like not as nice as the front. I think the front looks really good. And you will have just seen me pull out the Eco Lifestyle table and, table and chairs from the hidden objects menu. And I'm not sure how much they are. They did cost me some money, so they're not like zero, but they are like really, really cheap. So that was helpful. And we actually start off with just two tables and chairs. And as you can see, 
I've sorted my finances out and I have another 30,000. And I think at this point, yes, my family's here. I must have removed the house at this point. Yeah, I think that's money. That money is all from me bulldozing the house and making them live in the restaurant, which is like actually fine. So the house is, as I mentioned, like just set dressing. It's just one of the debug houses, their house. And this is fine, except my teenager. We do set her a curfew and every time she does anything on this lot, like when she goes to sleep because it's late, she breaks her curfew because she's not at the house, which I kind of get. It is slightly annoying. I didn't even know how to change her curfew, um, but it's fine. Like she grows up and she's not like irresponsible or anything, but she's certainly not responsible because of how many times she breaks her curfew. So just something to consider if you're thinking about like, a similar gameplay like living in the restaurant I just wouldn't set any curfews because it counts as like your child being uh, out after after the hours especially like I think my kids curfew was like nine or something ridiculous and because I didn't have the board anymore like I couldn't change it and we also end up changing this color scheme to white because our basketball court is like really bright and colourful uh some of the things that I do and I just think the yellow is like a little bit too much I mean while I was doing this I was not even sure if I actually liked the yellow but right now I'm just decorating this outdoor seating area with some plants the plants that we get from snowy escape also really sorry about how much I jump around in this video I'm trying to furnish it as minimum as I can get away with and then also thinking about the house on the side as well that I've got to make and just trying to make sure that I stick within budget I end up doing things in like a really odd order do add a fridge there because I don't end up giving the family a kitchen or a diner so the house on the side has two bedrooms and a living room which uh, for gameplay, like that actually totally works, like they don't sit down. Well, when the restaurant is open, they can't sit down, which is totally understandable. Just trying to, f just thinking if I've ever seen them sit down when the restaurant is closed. I assume I have, but yeah, they can't sit down when the restaurant is open, which is like fine. But when the restaurant is closed, they they have the whole restaurant and then the chef station acts as an oven and then you just need to add a fridge so just a little bit of I guess money saving tips that kind of is helpful for saving money and the house also doesn't have a bathroom because the restaurant has two bathrooms I would just say if you're going to play this way lock the doors to your house because that can get really annoying uh, because it just counts as part of the restaurant and then people try and like go inside your house and whatever but at the moment I'm just sorting out where the quarters are actually going to be don't actually end up having a door downstairs to the quarter do have a door upstairs just for ease of access it's a little bit annoying like they have to basically like for the downstairs they have to go out of the house to go to the bathroom which like takes a little bit more time than like say if they had an ensuite but I would still say in terms of saving money that this is like kind of nice oh also a little bit of a disclaimer do use a tiny bit of cc here so I use a uh, custom content it's it's out for free now I believe actually this is from Little Dicker's Greasy Foods custom content it's it's, it's like a pack uh, and I just use that instead of the big bulky host station which I absolutely hate just use this laptop and like a little mouse pad and just really like it and of course because we haven't got a bathroom in the quarters I have to add a shower to the public toilets, which is like maybe a little bit weird, but I think it's fine. Right now, I'm pulling out everything from my family's home and just trying to work out how big the court or how small the quarters can actually be. Pretty diddy. Um, so that was just me working that out. Now I'm sorting out the balcony area. Again, sorry for how much I jump around in this build. And speaking of jumping around, we've, we've moved and we're back on the inside just figuring out this customer bathroom that has a shower in because it's also going to be used by my family. And actually, to be honest, that is quite annoying. 
they have to like come out of their house to use the bathroom and it's okay for my teenager because her room is like on the same level as the shower but the parents just aren't so a little bit annoying because they're their bedroom is downstairs. They have to like go out of their house and into the quarters to go downstairs to the lower bathroom. But then if they want to shower, they need to go out of their house in the restaurant, up the stairs and go to the shower. So that's a little bit annoying. Uh, and I probably wouldn't decide to do that if I was going to do it again. So yeah, I was going to have a door into the quarters from uh, a door into the restaurant from their living quarters. However, um, I wanted my I, I wanted the door to be on the ground basically and um the restaurant is like raised on a platform uh, so i didn't want to do that because of how the outside ends up looking so i wanted it to be quite modern this extension that is the house so i had like a kind of container on the front and then i go to cover it but i end up covering it with this awning so it looks like they've got a jutting out container at the front of their home i don't know i thought it looked kind of cute uh, i think it kind of goes with how modern the restaurant is and actually the whole aesthetic that ends up being this house i think i, I don't know i just think it looks pretty cool um so yeah really happy that i did that and we're now working on the roofing so the teenager has got like a bit of a loft bedroom and I actually really like the roof of this side building. I think it's really funky. I'm kind of sad that it's so small because I think this concept is kind of cool. So I, I just like what I do with the roof basically, which is this. So she's got like a little, they've got like a little dormer on their house, but the roof is like quite an odd shape. It's like angular and I quite like that and then we pull out these windows from Get Famous as well which are very modern uh, or they they look modern and they're nice and small and we don't have many small windows so I do do really like those so add those and I just I just love the shape um something different to what I normally do for homes I mean I know this is just an extension on the restaurant uh, but something a bit different but anyway I'm now adding the rest of the seating for the restaurant um, after adding everything I had in my inventory I just want to make sure I've got all the seating and then I jump back and oh I didn't pull everything out of the inventory I'm now pulling everything out of my sims inventory this is what was in their home before we decided to move and we do have to completely redo the teenager's room because she was a child in the old house and she's now a teenager so we didn't put we didn't save any of that stuff uh, but we did save all of the living room stuff and this is all from I mean you might recognize it this is all um, furniture that I used in the house that I built that I showed the card earlier I'll show the card again this is like my small family home build that I did um, same furniture except I do I do end up swapping the bed out as well so we swapped the bed for that lovely one from Snowy Escape. I don't really like it in any of the swatches except that one. I think the rest are just a bit too plain, but I really like the pattern on that one. And then we had some hanging plants and some plants in the in the uh, window shelf because we have this lovely shelf with these eco lifestyle windows and I don't use them often but when I do I love how they look on the inside just adding a couple of books as well I don't end up adding anything to this one because I don't know we get like some weird lighting sometimes where you add when you add things on the shelf to the window so I didn't bother but I mean we're tight for cash anyway so I thought it was okay but we're now on to the teenager's bedroom and she's got her scout board still and we're just adding a bit of a desk that I double as a vanity table as well but it's still fully functional I do test it I just add a mirror through the desk and then the hairdryer from parenthood and this is just me cluttering up the room a little bit more decided to add a mini fridge as well because as I said, there is only one kitchen and that's in the restaurant. So I thought maybe it'd be nice for the kid just to have like a mini fridge just for when she's peckish. But to be honest, it hasn't caused me much issue with the gameplay. As I said, the most annoying things is probably the bathroom. But I think you could probably get away with that by putting a door from the downstairs living quarters into the restaurant. And I mean, you would have to have like a bit of a, a step up to it. 
because uh, I believe the restaurant is raised twice on the uh, two times. The platform is, I guess, two steps up from uh, the ground floor, and the house is um, on the ground floor with no platform. We decided to give her a double bed as well because we've got the room uh, and she's a teenager, so it'd be nice for her to have a little bit more room. And we darken up the colour scheme a little bit, so just make this a dark blue. And then we are back in the restaurant. I'm so sorry about this. Just adding some more tables, trying to remember pre-COVID how packed restaurants actually are. So just thought, you know, I'd cram them all together. And this, I mean, I've been playing in this restaurant, so it's fully, fully tested and uh, I haven't had a problem yet. That being said, the restaurant is so big, it hasn't been filled yet. I'm not a good restaurant owner <laughs> at the moment. Anyway, I'm sure there's a way of mastering it, just mastering it at the moment, but I'm mostly losing money. Sometimes I'm in the money. Most of the time I'm losing money. Just adding an outside seating area and some miscellaneous decorations, plants, signs, things like that. Also, this is me adding the basketball court. So I just wanted to fill this space up and I thought it would be cool to add a basketball court. I don't know, it just feels like the place for a basketball court by a train station. I don't know. It's, um, it's, it should be a commercial lot, I feel like this this lot just screams commercial to me. So that's why, you know, it screams public place. So that's why I put the basketball court. And also I do like making my builds like multifunctional. It's just how I like to play. It's so that I don't have to endure loading screens, which is a reason that I really like Snowy Escape because that snowy neighborhood they have you don't have to you can have a winter vacation you don't need to have a single loading screen because everything is there like if you have a rental up in the mountains your skiing mountain climbing everything is just there i've like mentioned this a few times which is like it's really funny how they do that because then when you do the excursion it's like four different loading screens um, for like one excursion that doesn't really take that long but I mean I guess I understand why they've done that but it's just weird when like they've made the neighbourhood so that you don't have to leave at all I've mentioned this before I just that's one of the reasons that I really like that neighbourhood um, I just love that I just I just hate loading screens you know I mean I understand why they're in the game like of course um, anyway <laughs> back to the build um, I'm adding some walls around the basketball courts and some murals. Um, this really reminded me of when I went to Colombia. Oh, I miss traveling so much. But yeah, I went to Colombia and there was like some amazing graffiti all over this skate park. I wish we had skate parks in, in The Sims. Um, and I just wanted to replicate that. I mean, with the basketball court, but still. And the rest of the surrounding area uh, of the basketball court is like a nice greenery so and I thought this was cool it's kind of like a urban park which I, I really like and I also think it goes with the surrounding area as well because there's you know a bit of green amongst the concrete so that's what we did here we just um remove this terrain paint and it's all green and I also add some towels for sunbathing and I just imagine that's where like I don't know some teenagers hang out and sunbathe and if you are still watching this video thank you for your patience and if you like this video please hit the like button if you would like to see some more content from me please hit subscribe and this is me this is me removing the concrete the fences that I put down these hedge fences are also very expensive so we swap them out for some debug stuff do utilize the debug menu a lot because i am still on a budget rapidly running out of money but wanted to add those um kind of i don't know i guess they act as some beds the the towels anyway because i thought um it looked like a bit more lived in it looked like the park was actually used uh so i liked that idea now I'm lighting up the colour scheme. Never liked that yellow, to be honest. I don't know how I played in it for so long. And I think the white looks stark, but um, nice. I mean, it's supposed to be pretty posh, our, our family's establishment. 
supposed to be really posh. This is the start of me utilising the debug menu. And I don't know what's going on lately, but whenever I try and place a plant, it it just doesn't place on the floor. But thank God for Tool Mod and Elevate. Because, uh, yeah, that just keeps happening to me lately. And that wasn't even by a platform or anything. Oh, no, tell a lie. It is. It's by my restaurant, which is on a platform so yeah it is right by a platform i think it's autumn so these bushes don't look great but we do switch to the summer and they just saved me a couple of grand so worth it pulling a few more things out of debug just to make it look like um it's actually like a community area i don't know I, I think it looks like a community area anyway but just adding like a few more things fire hydrants i pull out later some bins um with trees on some actual bins um all that stuff here i'm pulling out some fire hydrants that i really like um and yeah some of these dividers as well these recycle bins that i absolutely love from snowy escape so glad every time i can use them we pull out some boards as well advertising boards and this is where I decide to fence in the house and we just add a little way of getting to the outside because my family do have some trees, some apple trees that I would like to plant in their garden. It's a bit weird because you have to go through the parents' bedroom, but the whole house is weird. It doesn't even have a kitchen or anything so or a toilet. So I thought it was fine that it was a little bit weird. Think about adding that truck. We can't fit the truck. <laughs> um yeah and this is where I start to really like I mean I cut a lot of this out but I do really initially struggle with how to fence this in we we stay with this but I don't know whether that looks a little bit out of place I think it looks okay um I think it looks fine I think you get you know people living above shops people living on the side I don't know people living on the side of restaurants I don't know but that's what my family live by the side of a restaurant in a very very tiny house so that's what I wanted to do and with the rest of my money literally the rest of my money I <laughs> this cost me quite a lot but I do have like three grand at this point I had this blue tile and you know what I'm so glad I do this and I was thinking oh, I'm probably gonna scrap this but let's see how it looks but no I think it looks really cool and I was kind of inspired by how this neighborhood or like certainly some neighborhoods in eco livestock uh, evergreen harbor look because they end up having very bright pathways in a lot of different colors and this is what made me think of doing something similar so i'm thinking maybe this area has been modernized so they've got like the modern path around it and it it cuts off at the park so we just have it by the restaurant but i think that looks really cool i'm really happy with that and then after this path i move my restaurant to a different save and it's summer in the save so we can see when it's summer time and this is just me before i do that i'm now just adding the details i do end up i completely forget about this balcony area as well um yeah i can't get over how much seating we've got in the restaurant <laughs> i have to transfer some funds because i've run out of money then i realized that i've got these trees and i put i decide to plant them in the garden which is nice because i wasn't really sure what to put in my garden initially so sorry for this chaotic uh build but it's just sometimes this is just how I build, uh, but I did have a lot of fun doing this and I think it turned out really nice. So please enjoy the screenshots and thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you'd like to see more content from me, please hit subscribe. <laughs>